Hi guys, welcome to my channel Time to Code. In this video chapter, I am going to explain you how you need to read element value and how you need to read attribute value. And for those who are visiting this first time, I would request you to go to my previous video chapter where I have explained how to pass XML, complete XML, how you need to define that what data type you need to use, how to define complex type, all these things, and then uh, jump to this. So in this one, you might have seen some of the XML coming with attribute, and it can be there can be multiple attribute having different values. So how you need to root, read that along with the attribute value. So let's go to our uh, uh, workspace, and so I have done the changes where ID is having attribute and its value and then it's the same value. I have added another Im employee information and this attribute I have kept at each and every employee level with different values. Okay. Uh, for that, what you need to do is let me just keep it as is and just remove this for now. So this is our uh, old code where ID is this one defined and it's a string time and getting that value and I'm using that to print that but now you have got attribute also along with the value and how you will read this okay where will you define this so in order to do that you have to define your ID as a separate type ID okay and below you have to define this id type struct yeah so what you want to fetch from from this id type value value which is our string type xml colon double quote and the what you need to do here so here uh, golang has given care data as a type in this package so you can use that comma care data i'll come on this comma later and then you can define this also where i'm just keeping this as a also string XML colon double quote employee okay and yes it's attribute so you have to get comma attribute now my ID is of ID type ID type has value and employee company name and below what I have done is it's same from employee data I'm taking employee information employee information is having ID and ID is having value and employee company so this is my employee company I'm point putting here in order to get this value okay uh, attribute value and uh, here uh, employee ID and directly value which is my employee ID element value this one and yeah let me run this CLS you are getting right employee company call and equal to these values and then your employee values uh, which is your element value employee company is your attribute and this is attribute value and rest of information as is what one thing which you need to ensure that you keep this comma okay so if you don't then you will not get the value of your element so it's missing which means it's unable to read so that's why this comma is important and rerun you got you got your result so with that uh, 
that's it uh, you are able to read element value as well as attribute value so thank you if you have liked this video chapter please subscribe my channel please like it and share with others and if you have any questions uh, please pass that in the below comment section and i'll come back to you thank you